And when I talk about it's not enough to just elect a Democrat, I'm dead serious about that. In the 1990s, when the health care reform effort was made to bring universal health care, we had a Democratic president, we had a Democratic Senate, and we had a Democratic House. And the drug companies, insurance companies, they lobbyists killed it. They killed it. The only way this is going to happen is if we bring real and fundamental change to the way this government operates and we take, we're willing to take these people on. This is a battle. It is a fight. And for people who say, well, you know, that's not hopeful enough. We need to be more hopeful. <laughs> Listen, I am hopeful. I am hopeful. But I'm also a fighter. And I'll give you an example. You know, I've been, before I ever got into politics, I spent 20 years fighting these people in courtrooms. Really, 20 years. If you just picture in your mind, I'd walk into courtrooms, me and a child or whoever I represented, a family, and on the other side would be all the corporate lawyers and all their money. And I didn't just walk into that courtroom over and over. I walked in there and beat them over and over. And that's exactly what I will do as president. One of the last cases I handled, though, uh, I represented a little girl who was really badly hurt on a swimming pool drain that was defective. And the company knew it was defective. And they hid it. Kids had been drowned and badly hurt on it, and they just hid the information because they were still selling. Uh, and so I sat with this family, and they were, like, they were devastated, you know, really sweet people. And I said, we can help. We can do something about this. And I gave them hope. And then I walked into the courtroom, and I gave that company help. And that's exactly what we need again. We need a president, a president who will give America hope and will give these powerful interests that are stopping America from getting what it needs, hell. You know? Here, I don't know if anybody here remembers, remembers that, that famous Harry Truman thing and they said, somebody said, oh, Harry, you're giving him hell. And he said, no, I'm just telling the truth and it feels like hell. And, and he was right about that.